if you have watched how much the NFL has blown up the Kansas City Chiefs as the team of the future for the NFL. It used to be the Patriots as they dominated for almost 20 years with Bill Belichick and Tom Brady. And then Tom Brady goes to Tampa, wins a championship, and then a year after he plays like crap and retires. But the NFL needs to find a team that they can build their brand around. And Patrick Mahomes, after being on that quarterback spectacular on Netflix, that documentary, it was him, Kirk Cousins, and Marcus Mariota. It was greatly directed and produced. It was fantastic. But the Patrick Mahomes story, things are starting to grow legs about this Kansas City Chiefs. Because if you watch them, they're always on a primetime game. The NFL is building Patrick Mahomes into the savior of the league. The Superman of the league. And Pat Mahomes did not show up on Sunday Night Football. As a matter of fact, he threw two interceptions and did nothing in that game that really stuck out. You have players like Sauce Garner. Sauce Garner, in regards of the holding penalty in the fourth quarter, said, if I was a Swifty, the refs wouldn't have thrown the flag. Patrick Mahomes believes that the penalty came 15 yards down the field. And Sauce responded, it was 5 to 7 yards down the field. It was not 15 yards. Patrick Mahomes has been known to stick his two cents into stories after the game to make his team look better than they were. There was no excuses from Patrick Mahomes after the game. He knew he played like crap. And I saw him whisper to Zach Wilson, and Zach Wilson should have been upset because he got screwed. His first game that he showed up to, and he actually played one of his best football games in his college career and his NFL career, he actually showed that he could be a competent quarterback in the NFL. He loses a game because the referees couldn't call holding calls and couldn't call the right calls in the important parts of the game. The Jets had many questionable penalties in the fourth quarter, including defensive holding calls on C.J. Mosley and Jermaine Johnson. Robert Salas said that Zach Wilson had his best game of the season and his career. I know it is want to say that because it makes Zach Wilson look really bad. Wilson was 28 for 39 passing for 245 yards two touchdowns versus the Chiefs. Zach Wilson did have one of his best games. He actually showed up, stood out there as a quarterback, and the offensive line gave him time for the last two weeks, and he finally figured out how to complete passes. Zach Wilson stood in the pocket, made every single throw he needed to. He outplayed Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes was 18 for 30, 203 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions, should have had four interceptions, one taken away. C.J. Mosley, I don't know what's going on with him. Can he catch a ball? Can he not? The Kansas City Chiefs were completely outplayed defensively and offensively. In these games, especially in the fourth quarter, the Jets do not get the call. Every single team that they play, if the game is close in the fourth quarter, it goes against the New York Jets. What is the NFL doing? And why does the NFL hate the New York Jets? What happened on Sunday Night Football was a disgrace in any other game for any other team that call would have never happened the Jets intercept the ball they're at home they're the home team how do you call a penalty on arguably the best corner in football when yeah he did grab him a little bit he pulled on him within five yards you're allowed to do that it's a disgrace throwing this game and pitching this game for all the fans to see what I saw it makes me sick I don't care if the Jets make the playoffs this year nobody expected the Jets to make the playoffs this year but if they beat Kansas City, they're 2-2. Two and two. They beat the Broncos, they're 3-2. and two. And if they surprise the world and knock off the Eagles, they're 4-2 and two going into the bye week where their schedule gets easier. And the NFL and the terrible ref calls have taken it away from them. For all the things that the New York Jets have dealt with, they had to go on hard knocks. They didn't want to go on hard knocks, but the NFL forced them to go on hard knocks. You know why? Aaron Rodgers. They didn't complain about it. They did it. They go into Monday Night Football the highest watched Monday Night Football game in NFL history. There were hundreds of thousands of people watching that game. Watching Aaron Rodgers carry that American flag out on MetLife Stadium Field. And what happens? Yeah, I blame Dwayne Brown. I'm going to blame Aaron Rodgers for holding the ball as long as he did. Because it's both of their faults. But if that was Tom Brady, that would have been roughing the passer. Because it is the Jets, it doesn't matter. Zach Wilson had a helmet-to-helmet in the third quarter. He was out on the ground. I thought his eyes were rolling in the back of his head. There was no penalty call. The Patriots have done it year in and year out against the Jets. They don't get any calls called on them. Why? Because it's Bill Belichick, Roger Goodell's best buddy. It's horrible. It's nonsense. And you see that they're commonly favorite teams to the NFL because they want to see the Kansas City Chiefs go to the Super Bowl because they want to see him with seven Super Bowls like Tom Brady. He's the new Tom Brady in the NFL. 